Hey, good morning and welcome back to Travel with Rocky. I have a fun episode this morning. I actually wanted to get out here last night and cook up a gourmet meal. But because I got out here a little bit later and it is the beginning of March and the sun actually gets setting roughly about uh, 6, 6.30. And I actually arrived here at 5 and about a half an hour hike in didn't allow me much time left with light. So I just decided to put up the hammock. I was gonna make a bit of something to eat, but uh, it was so dark and so cold and it started to rain. So I thought I'd just hunker down into the hammock here. After having a wonderful sleep last night, it was quite interesting because uh, I'm quite close to a huge little pond here that has lots of frogs. And about every 20 minutes, the frogs would uh, do their croaking noise and then they would automatically stop and then they would start up again. And then in the distance, there was lots of owls hooting all night long. It was great entertainment. But it's time to get up and make a gourmet breakfast. I'm going to have some coffee and actually make a French omelet for you first thing this morning. So please sit back and enjoy this great video and allow me to uh, entertain you. I just unzipped my hammock and this is my wonderful view that I get to see first thing this morning in the great outdoors. Well, I got out of my hammock and sort of got dressed, but as you can see, it is still fairly cold. You can see the moisture come off my breath as I'm talking. Nothing will be better than having a nice hot cup of coffee. I actually went down to the brook over here or a little creek and got some water. I have an So being in the great outdoors, you can't necessarily drink the water from a creek or a brook or a river. So the thing that I have is what is called an MSR water filter system. It's actually quite unique because this end actually goes into the water and then I start pumping. And after a few, quite a few pumps, the water goes through the purification system and then down into my holding container. But I've always found it very difficult for me to crouch down to a brook or a creek or a river and start pumping. So what I've actually got was actually a great idea. I went to Walmart one day and seen that they had a little lunch kits that had little liners in them. And that's what now I use. I go down to the creek or the brook or the river and fill this little water container, uh, sorry, sorry, sandwich bag container full of water. As you can see, it sort of leaks, but it still holds water. And I can sit in the comfort of my great chair and actually start pumping water to make a great cup of coffee. Nothing's better than a great cup of coffee so early in the morning, especially when it's this cold and you can actually see my breath. So I'm just gonna start her up and within a few minutes we'll have coffee. I'm just waiting for the coffee to boil. It does take a little bit longer in the cooler weather that we're in. Uh, as you can hear, my jet boil getting a little bit louder. Most mornings, the jet boil doesn't do too good in the colder weather. As the icy protein that we utilize with the jet boil uh, doesn't work very well in very cold environments. So I like to actually take the time to uh, heat up the, the fuel and it will tend to uh, burn a little bit more faster. Well, I have my coffee done, and I tell you, there's something about having a cup of coffee in the great outdoors. It just does something for you. It really relaxes me, gives me a really refreshing a newness, and nothing would be better to get some hot coffee into this cold body right now. Oh, that's good hot coffee. As you can see, the steam, steam it all over the place. I'm just gonna let this sit and rest for a few minutes. But, uh, well, now that I have my coffee made, nothing's better than sitting back in the great outdoors and listening to nature. It's surprising how many robins, sparrows, and other kind of birds that are singing early in the morning. And to watch the sun rise in the morning is incredible. As you can see behind me, like right oops there is the sun is actually coming up it's going to be a really great day can't believe how cold it is just pumping up that hey it's surprising how weather can play a very big part in your everyday plans in the great outdoors i had full intentions of actually cooking you a gourmet breakfast meal this morning but as you've seen earlier it was so cold this morning that my gas stove wasn't necessarily working fully or properly 
And then... So I just want you to see this. It's incredible. The ice storm has just actually stopped. This is the ice that has accumulated off my great tarp. And on this side, I have to get rid of the liquid really bad because she's really, but I want to put it over on this side, away from my camera side. Oh, I don't think I got that. <sighs> okay, so welcome back everyone. I'm about to cook. You can see how cold it is. My jet boil is steaming. So uh, I'm just going to turn that off. And I have these golden hash browns. Uh, that are dehydrated. I haven't had these since I was a little kid in backpacking country with Upper Ventures, which is one step above Boy Scouts. So in order to rehydrate these, what you need to do is, is fill the water up to a fill line here of hot boiling water and let them rehydrate and then we're going to cook them off. Wow, nature is sure chirping, the birds are out, it's happy that the rain is gone, and the ice storm is done with. So I'm just going to let those rest and rehydrate. Welcome back to Travel with Rocky. What an absolutely beautiful afternoon that it's turned out to be. Compared to this morning, it was just raining like crazy. So I got the hash browns exactly where I would like them. So I'm going to actually take my deer sausage and the vegetables that I have and put them in. But I just want to give those hash browns a last little stir. Oh yeah, they're 
crisped up really, really nice. And plus I'm really hungry because uh, it's been a long time since I woke up with all the rain and it's cleared up and had to move my kitchen over underneath the tarp to protect myself from the water. As soon as I started cooking, the sun came out. So go figure, eh? But uh, now I'm going to actually add all those ingredients in. And okay, just gonna give it its final little toss. Oh, that's looking really nice and brown and crisp, as you can see. Especially when you're backpacking, it's always challenging to transport eggs. Uh, they have those egg carton things that are made out of plastic, but I find that they're too bulky and they tend up to use a lot of space. So what I would like to introduce is the way to carry any forms of eggs. I actually scramble these and then put them into the bottle, which is an old sour, sorry, salad dresser container. Uh, that's how I carry my eggs when I'm camping and that's what we're going to cook off for the last little bit. So I'm going to take these nice ingredients of my hash browns, the bok choy, the peppers and also the deer sausages and the hash browns place it in the bottom of just a little bit more truffle oil on the bottom so my eggs don't stick give it a bit of a shake so they're really scrambly and the nice thing is you just unpop the lid and pour it in and we're gonna have a scrambled eggs Okay, just got my scrambled eggs just happening here. Whoa, this is gonna taste so good. Got the deer sausage, the hash browns. Oh, breakfast but done a teat outdoors with Rocky. Incredible. Done to perfection. I like them on the more of the softer side than the really hard and crunchy side. So we're there. I'll just turn off this. So I have my deer sausage, hash browns, red peppers, green bok choy, and now the eggs. And my favorite fresh herb is cilantro on top. Let's give it a little bit of a decorative style, gourmet style. Thank you for tuning in with Travel with Rocky. I had a fantastic morning. I hope that uh, you enjoy as much as I am enjoying this meal for the next little while. Mm -mm -mm. Tasty, tasty. As you can see, the sun is out. I'm actually just going to pack up after I've eaten that nice gourmet meal. But I just wanted to give you a tour of my camp and show you exactly how I stayed last night in my hammock. Uh, my kitchen, which is uh, right in front of me. But uh, I just can't believe the sun is actually shining on me, right? In the great it's literally shining.